how do you become your very own travel agent? If you don't wanna work for an agency, you don't wanna share any of your commission, I know nobody's telling you guys this stuff, but I'm gonna give you all of the scoop today. That sounds like fun, keep on watching. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell over on YouTube. We bring you amazing content every single week to help you grow your travel businesses, and I don't want you to miss a thing. If you're new here, type a little I'm new in comments so I can welcome you to our community. And if you are new, you might not know who I am. My name is Cindy Williams. I'm the CEO and founder of Wanderlust Campus. I'm celebrating my 30th year since I started in the industry, so there's a lot of wealth of knowledge inside this noggin that we share forward on this channel. And today's video is no exception. We are talking about how do you become your own travel agent. We call that in the industry an independent travel agent that works independent, meaning you don't work for an agency, you work for yourself and therefore earn 100% of your commission. Now before you get too excited, I also want to say sometimes this can be a fit for you, but a lot of times there might be a different setup fit that would be appropriate. I don't host any agents, so you can trust anything that we talk about on this channel today will be in your best benefit. Today's video really is about figuring out what is the best fit for you personally and is going independent, if you are new, the right thing to do. So I wanna start by saying, if you are in that consideration phase, make sure you take this free masterclass. This is a course, it's a one hour session that will walk you through every single setup in the travel industry, the ones people don't want you to know about, the ones that they are trying to sell you, and the ones that may or may not be a fit for you. Everything is covered in that masterclass. Again, we don't host agents. I created this because we get hundreds of questions a week on our social media and on our YouTube channel about Cindy, what should I do? Because I don't know you personally yet, you have to really evaluate what your goals are and match yourself with the right way into the industry. So go over to careersonvacation.com slash masterclass and we will, we will get you that session absolutely free for you to get started. Now, let me talk about what it means to be an independent travel agent and I'm gonna give you the exact steps that you would do to become an independent travel agent. Number one is you have to get your business set up, right? Do you have an LLC, a partnership, a, 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 an S Corp, whatever, like you have to set up your business first, right? So get with your attorney, get a business set up, get registered in your state, pick a name, do all of those fun things. Number two, now you need to get set up as an actual agency and you're gonna go, Cindy, but I'm only an agent. I understand that, but if you're at, if you're operating as an independent within the industry, you need to get your travel agent credentials, travel agency credentials, and then you list yourself as an agent under your agency. So that is number two. Keep in mind at the end of this uh, steps, I'm gonna also talk through why or why not this might be a great fit for you. Number three, once you have that set up, you're gonna to have to take care of all of your logistics. So when we're working with our clients in our Wanderlust Campus program that want to go independent, we give them something called a wander path that gives them all of the technical setups, all of the legal things that they should do, all of the bits and pieces. You're gonna to have to figure all of that stuff out. There is a lot of it, but at a minimum, let me give you the top things. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you get your legal paperwork in place. Number two, you have the proper insurance. You're running your own business now, so you need to make sure you have insurance at a minimum E&O, that stands for errors and emissions insurance. You gotta get those things set up as well as go through with your CPA, with your attorney, all of the things that they recommend because you won't have kind of a grocery list of anyone giving you that information, right? And then the next thing that you want to do is you got to launch your business. There's some big systems that you want to make sure you have in place if you're going to be operational in a big way in the industry. You want to make sure you have a good plan for training yourself as a travel advisor. You want to make sure you know what different types of technology you wanna use. And I would love to be able to say, just do X, Y, Z, one, two, three. But the reality is based on your goals, your niche, the type of travel business that you wanna run, there are a plethora of different technological services available in the industry. So one of the things you need to do is figure out what is best for you? What type of CRM do you wanna use? What, how are you gonna track all of your, your client bookings? How are you gonna keep track of everything that happens there? 
other thing that's really important is how are you going to communicate with your clients from a marketing perspective? You need to set up your marketing infrastructure as well. And those are just a few of the systems, right? There's one more thing that you're gonna need to do before you can sell any vacations. Once you have those kind of pieces mapped out, you need to get with every single travel supplier that you are going to want to work with. You need to register your new agency credentials with them, fill out the paperwork that is required. You're gonna have to have a business bank account, by the way, because they need to know where to send all those commission checks, right? And you're going to have to go through that process. That's gonna take anywhere from eight to 12 weeks at a minimum to get those relationships set up and get everything done behind the scenes. So I know that's a lot, I'm giving you a lot of information, but this is the reality and no one really highlights the exact steps on how to do that in our industry. So we're giving you guys that information, but I realize also it can feel overwhelming. So one of the things that we do at Wanderlust Campus is we really work with you guys to evaluate what are your goals, what are your niches, does it make sense to temporarily work with a host or is it? are you feeling good about being independent and putting you on a path there? Doesn't matter which path you choose, that's something that we would work with you on if you decide to work with Wanderlust Canvas or you can kind of, you know, figure it out and kind of do a DIY. It's gonna take a little bit longer. In full transparency, our industry can be very confusing. But in our wander paths for our independent agents, one of the things that we do is we will match you with what are the best technical solutions, what are the best legal solutions, what are the best things that you should set up, how do you have, how do you set up all of the suppliers? We actually give you a partner portal in Wanderlust Campus so you get a list of all the suppliers so you can go find the suppliers, find the sign up links and do all those pieces as well. Now you can still do some of those things on your own. It's just gonna take a lot more research on your end because I don't know which suppliers or what your niches are in a little quick video like this. But I hope that's helpful to understand the framework of how an independent agent gets set up. Again, I really encourage you to take that masterclass because it will walk through the independent setup versus if you're going to work for someone else versus if you're gonna do what I call the hybrid approach, which is actually my favorite approach for new agents who are just starting, which allows you to sell within a few weeks versus selling in three months from now, right? So a lot of things that you have to think about. The important thing is, is you are excited about getting started in our industry. I encourage you to do your due diligence, take the masterclass, Take a deep breath, let it all settle in and figure out what your goals are first and then find the starting point that makes sense for your goals and keep all of the other noise outside, right? If we can help you at Wanderlust Campus, we'd love to learn more about your vision for your travel business. You can visit us over at wanderlustceo.com. You can get a sneak peek of exactly what our programs look like, what they feel like. You can go through each section. Careers on Vacation is our most popular program for those of you who are new agents or you are experienced but not yet selling a half a million dollars a year. Careers on Vacation is the one you're looking for to become certified, but also to get started in the industry in a way that you're gonna have all of your structure, all of your systems, all of the best practices, and you get to work with real humans. You get to work with us uh, you get to work with me, you get to work with all my entire team of experts and travel industry veterans as you grow your business and you also get a coach that will help you along the way as well. We are the most reviewed uh, travel business in the industry, or travel education service in the industry. We have over 200 case studies kind of showcasing what we do. So if you'd like to meet with my enrollments team and get a tour, a virtual tour of Wanderlust Campus, visit us at careersonvacation.com slash ready now and you can make an appointment. We would be happy to meet with you and talk to you about your goals and how we might help you or direct you wherever you go. And guys, I hope this was uh, helpful for you. Give this video a like or a little love or a thumbs up or drop a comment below if you have any questions. And I wish you so much love, so much abundance, no matter what path you take to get into the industry. As I said, I'm celebrating 30 years and man, it has been a roller coaster of fun. I wouldn't change a thing. So I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye guys. Hey 
guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.